93.6 Global Radio, the official English-speaking station on the Cast at El Sol. Joined in the studio this afternoon uh, by celebrity chef Stephen Saunders, who, of course, you'll remember from Ready, Steady, Cook. Hello! Stephen, thank you for coming in today. It's great to meet you. Hi, Dave. No, it's great to be here. Now, you're going to become uh, a regular fixture, not just on the show, but the, here on the Cast at El Sol. The face of radio. Absolutely. If I could have a pound, Stephen, a pound. <laughs> Or a euro. For I'm sorry, yes, a euro, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. You've, um, you've just opened the Little Geranium in La Cana de Mias. Yeah. When we think of all the places in the world uh, that, that you've been to, that you've worked, that, that you've owned restaurants, um, how did you settle here? That's a long story. How much time have we, <laughs> how much time have we got? No, the thing is that um, I've had a villa here in Miraflores for the last seven or eight years. Okay. And it's lovely. And we, we love the weather, obviously. I mean, who doesn't? Because while we're sitting here looking at the sunshine through the windows, and we are, back at home, it is grey and it is wet. And that's the problem. So we kind of thought we need to get out of that. I got to a stage where I've got children and they're grown up. My oldest daughter is 28 this year. And she now runs the hotel, which is in Cambridge, which is beautiful. And it's called the Sheen Mill. And it's beautiful. Many people know it, actually. And... It's on the River Cam, and it's in four acres, and it's a very much a wedding venue and what have you. So with all that sort of boxed off, and I was another time for another story this, but I was involved very much with Formula One and contracted to Bernie Eccleston, and that's come to a close because of the fact that I've kind of done an earnout, and we found ourselves in a position to say, well, where should we? What, what should we do? We can open a restaurant wherever; it doesn't matter. But we've got this lovely villa, and we came to the villa. And just to relax and retire, really. And I'm only early 50s. And we sat by the pool and we kind of like got fed up of eating out lunch and dinner. Because that's the trouble is with the cost of the soul. As beautiful as it is, we all eat probably too much and we all drink too much because we enjoy it, you know. And there's nothing wrong with enjoying life. But I got to the point where I felt that, you know, I needed some purpose because we've had so much purpose all our lives. And so we looked for a restaurant locally. And that's why La Cala. Well, now you're here, um, you've opened. I understand that it's um, it's busy, to say the least. It's it's really busy. I mean, we were surprised because with the story I've just given you about, we didn't have to be La Cala, but we wanted to do something locally and somewhere we wouldn't have to travel too far. You know, the thing is that we didn't expect it to take off like it's taken off and the restaurants just went through the roof. And I always said, well, look, if nobody came, it doesn't really didn't matter too much because this isn't a commercial thing it's a not a proposition built on commerciality it's a, bu- a proposition built, built on passion you know I've done restaurants all my life this is my 17th restaurant so if no one turned up it would matter to me because I'd feel like I'd failed but I'd have dinner with my wife and I'm, I'm happy with that and we opened the doors and we were absolutely heaving and honestly I, I'm I'm surprised I'm shocked and but at the same time really pleased well, Stephen, I want to talk to you in a few moments about one of your previous restaurants. Um, it, it was a favourite restaurant of a woman who, at the time, a, and even now, it is still one of the most famous women on the planet. If you don't mind hanging around a few minutes, we'll talk about that next. No, I'm here. Don't worry, Dave, I'm not going anywhere. 93.6 Global Radio, the official English-speaking station on the Cast at El Sol. Joined in the studio this afternoon uh, by celebrity chef Stephen Saunders, who, of course, you'll remember from Ready, Steady, Cook, and who is now uh, running the Little Geranium restaurant in La Cala de Mias. Now, Stephen, we were talking a few minutes ago um, about how you ended up being here on the Cast at El Sol, and you mentioned some of your previous restaurants, uh, one of which I know was a personal favourite of Diana, Princess of Wales. It was, yeah. Yeah, it was, and it was called the Pink Geranium. And the Pink Geranium was <laughs> the Pink Geranium was was everybody's kind of favourite because it was a little thatch cottage that we'd bought with no money at the time, um, with fun, funded by um, Margaret Thatcher. But that's another story. I'll bore you with that some other time. <laughs> and um, I borrowed the money and set this restaurant up. And it was thatch cottage, and, and no one arrived. And I was kind of thinking, well, gosh, have I made the right decision? And then all of a sudden, Princess Diana walks into the restaurant, and of course. It was just amazing. I mean, she walked in the restaurant and the whole restaurant stood still. You know, it's like time standing still. And she walks in. Hello. Hello. What, we have a table booked for two. Did you know in advance that she was going to be there? No, we knew she was going to be there. Brooklyn yeah. Palace had contacted us and they'd asked us to make sure that there was absolutely no knowledge of her 
coming so there's no press and they had uh, security on all the doors and gates and, and, and entrances so that no one could get into the restaurant and she'd actually bought the first time she came she'd she'd paid or Buckingham Palace had paid for the other tables in the restaurant because she wanted to be on her own with her friend who actually turned out to be a lawyer and that was her first time and one of her favorite dishes was a salad with crispy duck and she always used to come regularly after that and always say I'll have the crispy duck salad and nothing else that's all she had what was your feeling when you first saw her nervousness because because we didn't know what to expect and whenever you meet someone like that it's very overpowering and and actually you know if there were if a, if a restaurant was full of people it would have just stopped still it was just full of staff and everybody went oh my god it's princess diana <laughs> and um, and she walked in and sat down and but she was absolutely lovely she was so adorable she used to talk to all the staff and, and, and gradually as time went on, she got to know staff, she got to know their names, and she got to sort of advise people as to what they th- she thought they could do in certain things. You know, it's like people used to say, well, you know, I've, I've got this difficulty, and she'd say, well, you should do this, and you should do that. And she was very, very friendly. She used to slap me on the shoulder sometimes and say, have you seen my husband recently? And I said, well, no, n- not really. And she'd say, well, nor have I. <laughs> read anything into it because we didn't know um, at that stage that there, 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 there were any difficulties you mentioned uh, that she liked the crispy duck salad yeah how much pressure did that put on you as a chef to get it right every time well that's an interesting question and i've never been i've done this kind of interview for a long long time but i've never been asked that and the reason is because when you're a chef at the kind of levels that we are it doesn't make any difference whether it's princess diana or it's it might psychologically and that that's a bad thing you know, it's like if you're an actor you you act at wherever it doesn't matter who's sitting in the audience um you do the job and so we don't send anything like a crispy duck salad out for example um to anybody any differently and I look at it, even in the little geranium here in Le Carlo, which is the smallest restaurant I've ever done in my life, by the way. Oh, Steve, five minutes stories. I thoroughly enjoy chatting to you this afternoon. Um, I know you're going to become a regular on the show as your restaurant and our um, sponsors here at 93.6 Global Radio. But I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Uh, it is a, a sad weekend in, in terms of Diana, Princess of Wales, but happy to remember her with your wonderful memories today. Thank you so much for joining us. She was a fabulous lady and you're a fabulous DJ. Well done, Dave. <laughs> Thank you.